Alright, in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate some simple body puppet motion. The first thing I want to do is import in Blazer Clad Chuck here to demonstrate. First, let's go into the Body Puppet panel. You can also use the Shift F6 hotkey to do this. As you can see, there are a number of different idle motions that are available here. As well as some mood motions. Some movement motions and some talking motions. You can simply press the space key to preview any one. First, I'm going to demonstrate mouse control. Just press tab or click on the mouse tab to switch over. First, I'll select my explain talking motion here. When I press space to preview, notice how my movement speed and position go according to my mouse movements around the semi-transparent indicator in the middle of the screen. I can move back and forth at any speed I like to give a different effect. Next, I'll demonstrate slider control. For this, I'm going to go over and select a running motion in the move section. Right away, you can see that the motion will loop continuously. At the top, I have the exaggeration slider, which I can adjust to make the running motion more or less intense. If I adjust the speed slider, I can make the puppet loop slower or quicker. I can also right click and rotate around my character to get different viewing angles of the run as well. Below exaggeration and speed are the preset sliders which adjust a number of aspects of the run. I can move the hips up and down to get results like this. If I rotate around to the side, I can see what happens if I move the leaning slider forward and backward. There's also the stance that I can change from wide to narrow. and the neck, which I can adjust from stiff to loose. So what I'm going to do is play around with a few of these sliders to make it seem like my character is really tired near the end of his run. Let's give him some more bouncing and swaying in various body sections. Notice the subtle changes as I adjust these sliders one by one. Be careful when you use the slider control though as using extreme combinations of certain sliders will cause your character's body to exhibit unrealistic or faulty movements. What I'm going to do now is perform a live recording, where I'm going to make my character slouch and go upright, like he's huffing and puffing at the end of a race. So to do this, I'm going to go straight in and press record. Now when my character is running along, I'm going to slowly adjust his run to give him an exhausted appearance. After I've finished my live adjustments, I'll play back and you'll be able to see now that my character will have a smooth running animation that includes the results of my live puppet manipulation. The puppet motion panel makes it incredibly easy to save hours of your time doing various animation tasks such as this.